What is this? They're talking about my pro career? Right. As you mentioned already, I was definitely going to get into this. Don't worry. One of the bizarre things about your career is you literally did play with Cadrill as your jungler on two different... We almost won EU Masters together, me and Larson. No joke, we almost won EU Masters. We threw a game when we had Infernal Soul and a 10k gold lead. And we were going to beat Origin in EU Masters, and then we probably would have won. So we almost won EU Masters. Different levels, technically. Uh, so what I want to know is that, right, is this is actually also, if people don't know, this is obviously after Cadrill was a mid laner in a ULCS. Like, he obviously role swapped, if people don't know, and became a jungler. And that's actually, funnily enough, where he got to show off, like, on streams and stuff, all his game knowledge, and he had good pathing and stuff. Right, is it as simple as, because I always thought the reason why, famously, you have all these amazing support What is, what is Larson going to say about ADC, me? It's because, obviously, the simple theory is he should have an idea of what an ADC wants, right? Was that the case with Cadrill, since he used to be a mid laner, did he have like a good sense of what like the mid laner should want? Oh, Max, thanks for the uh, stuff. Uh, wait, what the mid laner should want? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess so, yeah, he was a good dog, I think, good dog. Like, he, okay. he was not stupid. Uh, was he like yeah, a shot caller and stuff? Nah, not really. I mean, I think it's when I played with him, it was like start of, when, uh, like, he started of the rules up, so he was trying to focus on himself. And... Right. Uh, it's also like sometimes we play against Mjagnus that would uh, play to like stompy angle and then it would be hard for him. So, uh, I don't know. Insect I is mean, who I had to jungle against. It was a starter carry, so I can't really judge his start of a younger carry because it's not a starter. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know. He has so much to think about when you become uh, like a new younger. Is it weird seeing him like the expert on like LEC and all stuff now and like the fact he used to just be your jungler? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, really cool for him. Like, uh, so cool. Oh. Like, uh, how big he is. But I mean, I'm not surprised. Like, he was all super funny. Uh, I mean, I've known him for a very long time. Uh, I was playing like PUBG with him in like 2017 and stuff as well. So, <laughs> he's a good friend. So. Oh, oh, man, I'm almost convinced at this point in time. Bearing in mind, you obviously have like, the Swedish accent. You're one of the people who just ruined his accent because you know he's got like the UK mm. flag. And then when I met him, I'm like, bro, are you from Sweden? So why are you talking that mm. way? Because he does like the. He, he, all, he really rounds off the words. B1 Rennington, we're back, baby. B1 Rennington. Yeah, I remember I roll swapped in uh, 2018 uh, March. It was around my birthday time. Dark times, very dark times, emotionally. Have you ever had it in your point of your life where everything goes wrong at the same time? Like the whole world yeah, crashes down on you let's go man that happened to me for two months uh, it was yeah. horrible like everything around you your personal life like everything just hits you at the same in the same couple weeks oh my god it was it was terrible but i climbed out of that hole but i just roll swapped we we played the masters together me and larson it was really fun see that grin that's the man that wants to go free for free on on zeri and we got to the quarterfinals and we played against a team with Expect, Insect, Froggen, Forgiven, and Jesus. And uh, this team was like paid hundreds of thousands to win EU Masters. And we we were up 1 0 in a best of three. And in game two, we had uh, Infernal Soul 10k gold lead three in hips and we lost. 